Welcome. This movie will show you how to publish your iWeb website. We will start by, by clicking on the File menu, then we'll select the option. We need to make sure that our website's active here. So we'll go to File, and then Publish to a Folder. And then from here, we would suggest that you create a new folder on your desktop. And this will just allow you to easily find that folder with your website files. So we're just going to call this uh, folder website and then we'll click create and then you'll see that this folder is selected so we just want to select the choose button and what this will do is it will convert um, our iWeb website to an HTML format and it will also place the files within that website folder so you'll see that um, I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this here you'll see that our website is within this folder and all the supporting documents are listed here so the next step would be to just launch the CyberDuck application so this uh, movie assumes that you've already installed CyberDuck so I'm just going to go ahead and um, launch CyberDuck So when you launch CyberDuck, um, you'll see an option here where it says Open Connection, and this is where you would put in your server information. So I'm just going to type in our uh, sample domain here, along with our username and password. And then within the uh, section listed under More Options, this is where you want to put in the folder for the um, the server where you want to publish your files to and that uh, folder is called HTTP docs this is very important that you put in the folder name because if you try to upload to a folder that's not HTTP docs the server would give you an error message so within the path section you want to just make sure to put in HTTP docs so you would just click on connect and this is uh, you'll see that we're connected to the server so the only thing um, left to do would be to just highlight the iWeb web files and then just uh, drag them over into the CyberDuck application. And you'll see that this is going to start uploading the files. And if, if you notice this error message, what it's telling us is that there's an index file already on the server and this is the placeholder page. So you want to click continue because we do want to override this and we want to replace it with our iWeb website. And you'll see that the files are, are uploading to the server. And depending, how, depending on how large your website is, this could take several minutes to upload. Um, our website is not that large, it's 4 megabytes. So this should just take another minute or so. And then once this is finished uploading, you'd be able to just type in your domain name into your web browser and you'd be able to pull up your new iWeb website. So if you have any additional questions, please feel free to use our help desk by going to support.onewebhosting.com. Thank you.